let's go ahead and add another one so it's also starting at this price I don't really want to make any mistake though so this time we are going to change the duration time so I'm going to say um, an hour 30 minutes because you can't do this for a short period of time so if for some reason yours is more than that you can go ahead and hit that up and select more than that and then you can still go ahead and add up so that means if um for some reason this can manually be increased the time limit can manually be increased so it can add up it can add add up that's what it means by add add up but if you want to block extra time you can go ahead and click on the option for blocking extra time so once you're done just go ahead and back out and then if you still want images for this select that images click on the images folder click on whichever image you want um this is facebook i don't think i have i don't think i have a facebook image um let me just select my facebook page image so it kind of look funny though but this is my page so We've added our page. So Facebook page instructor. And if you guys are interested in adding more, just go ahead and add up more services. And once you're done, click on the next option. And you can see it's already been set. We can just click on done. But for some reason, let's go ahead and test this out and see how it actually works. So if someone is trying to book an appointment, it's going to ask the person to put in their name. The person is going to enter their name. And then the person can actually choose a particular service. If you want to choose a web designing, and if the person decides to choose a Facebook management, he can just choose anyone. And he can go ahead and select a specific time which he will be okay with. And if you guys notice, it's all selecting the particular date period which I will be available. So um, if the person select that, this is the time the person is going to be available. And you can notice the end time also. It's going to set automatically but if we choose this guy which is 30 minutes you can notice how the time reduces right you can notice it's just a 30 minute interval time so um leave a message if you want to and then go ahead and save up so we've booked the appointment and then so if um after we've actually set, I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and test this out. Let me show you guys how it works. If somebody books an appointment, how you'll be able to see them. Because all we just did was just to create an appointment and to manage the appointment. So all you need to do, let me go ahead and back this out. Let me pause the video and back out so that I'll be able to show you guys how this works. I'm going to go ahead and test this out also with another Facebook account. I'm going to try to book an appointment with a different Facebook account to show you guys how this properly works okay so I was able to do that and on the left screen I'm going to be showing you guys how it just look like and there is no other way it's going to look like apart from this this is just how it looks like on your page and after that guys uh, let me just go ahead and say just in case maybe after you might have added the um, you might have added your appointment and mostly people have sent you an appointment and you just want to check to see how calm it went or how effective it has gone this is how to do that just come to your facebook pages section click on the pages and scroll over to more options click on the appointment and you can notice um it it has a particular um 
mark on this particular first option which is monday today is actually monday and this week is actually this week so on top of the area in order for you to see um the options or the recent post or the recent appointment that has been booked you can notice um, um notification icon that shows red and in three click on that when you click on that you can see requests here right and then let me go ahead and back out so um wait wait so if you select this particular one it displays the people who have actually booked an appointment with you it displays them with the information and every other thing so if you want to see more about them you can go ahead and click on it and you can see the person's detail phone number and you can easily contact them or start chatting with them immediately you can this is there is a chat icon right here when you click on that it initiates the chat option for you and you can start chatting with this person right from your um right from your facebook page and then you can actually set an appointment or approve an appointment you can notice below where it shows approve an appointment you can go ahead and click on that once you approve any appointment it's going to be approved and um you are going to be having a notification you can notice on that notification area that one of them have gone away the reason why it went away is because there's the approved appointment already so we can notice if i actually select on any of them right here and then say maybe i want to reschedule the appointment i can click on reschedule probably if it falls the same with the same date and time with another one i can reschedule them and the person is actually going to see it so i can go ahead and select any date i want and then click ok and say um you can notice um the staff note i can say hey please this is when i will be available Hope it's okay for you. Oh, that was a kind of mistake. So once you're done, go ahead and save. And this person is going to see this message and definitely reply to it and then get back to you. So apart from that, when you click and if you want to decline any appointment, you can just click and archive that. Once you archive it, it's going to be on your archive. It doesn't dis um, disappear entirely. So once you are done and you are set, you are ready to go. So after selecting the notification, then so if you notice all these options are actually your appointment so if anybody is setting an appointment this is how to do that and if you click on the settings option you can always go and reset your um settings and you can also set when people book the appointment so you can say limit um advanced booking if you want it to be limited but if not just leave that to be off for you so and if you want more of the options you can click for services and then add more services to your list so it's it's pretty easy you can always go ahead and add services whichever you want it add as many more as you want to and always make sure you have this um appointment reminder on for you so that it can always remind you whenever somebody is booking an appointment or whenever an appointment is going to be set or whenever it's going to be available and you can always go go ahead and synchronize your google account so that you can make use of your google calendar it actually works very well with your google calendar because if you have your google calendar synchronized it's probably going to prompt and remind you on your phone since you are mostly always on your phone and then after that you can always notice a follow-up message you can always leave a follow-up message so that it will probably um, give the kind of person that is actually um requesting for an appointment let them just feel like um this stuff was submitted and definitely they are going to be getting to hear from the um appointed person so go ahead and leave um, a sentence of your message leave a clear note of the message so this video is getting too long so i'm probably going to stop it so hopefully if this video helped you guys please make sure you do subscribe to the channel smash that like button for your boy and share the video with your friends if it helped you and leave a comment below if you have any challenges of any other in this video and i will be replying to that all right guys see you soon please leave a comment below if you want any changes of my video in my next video all right guys Peace, stay home and stay safe.